Back to the budget, Finance Minister Tito Maweni says ESCOM will receive 23 billion rand per year or 69 billion over the next three years to allow the public company to service its debt. He has warned that any additional government support for ESCOM will depend on economic growth, tariffs and implementation of the strategy. In addition, the power utility will have to reduce costs by 20 billion rand a year by 2022. ESCOM CEO Pakamani Hadebe says the bailout will enable the company to reduce its debt servicing costs and also maintenance of its power stations. He also says uh, that ESCOM will put in systems to stabilize load shedding by April. Well, earlier our reporter Manelisi Dubase spoke to the ESCOM CEO uh, Hadebe in Cape Town. It comes at the right time, you know. Of course, we we'll have been even more excited if, if it's more, but in all fairness, 23 billion uh, means that uh, we'll reduce our debt servicing costs by about 65, 70 percent or so. Debt servicing costs at ASCOM is about 32 billion a year. So if we get this 23 billion, it means we'll be, sa we'll be saving about 23 on the servicing debt. That money will then be used in key issues such as the maintenance of power stations. It comes at the right time. Otherwise, how bad are your financial uh, uh, position? Uh, the financials, uh, we're, we're sitting in an, an, an uncomfortable ability. As I've already indicated, if you are looking at our total revenue, it's 180 billion, and total cost is 140 billion. That leaves us the earnings, what we are earnings, at 40 billion. But debt servicing cost and debt payment is 50 billion. So we've been borrowing to service our debt. With this 23 billion that is coming in, it means 65% of the debt servicing cost will be paid by government. And the advantage, that is the government will give us money to manage that. The advantage of that then is that it releases the earnings that we have to deal with key issues such as maintenance, which will ensure that we don't have load shading.